And just like that, the USD Growling Tigers is complete their revenge tour after securing another finals appearance in the UAP Season 86 Women's Basketball Tournament. Now joining us to talk about the long and treacherous road to get to the top are the Tigresses, Nikki Villasin, Tantoy Ferrer, and Coach Heidi Oh. Ladies, welcome to the game. Maraming salamat. Uh, Coach Heidi, I want to talk to you first. First of all, congratulations uh, for making it this far. What did it take in the second round? Because that matchup against UP in particular, especially after that first game, took a lot of heart to make it to the finals, Coach. Um, first of all, thank you to the game for having us here. Um, it's a tough road against UP, Lady Maroons, and I would like to commend also UP for giving us a good game. It makes us better as a team. Um, of course, it's an all-team effort for all of us. Uh, that's why we are here in finals against him. All right, congratulations once again for making it into the next series. But I want to ask Tantoy, kamusta humabol yung UP sa fourth quarter? Ano yung mindset? Ano yung tumatakbo sa isip mo nung mga panahon na yun para, alam mo yan, hindi maulit yung game one? Uh, yun nga po, parang siyempre, betalaan mo parang hindi na po, ako ka ba na like the sophomore na naglalaro kapag during game or crucial game. Yung know, parang, parang minimeditate yung sarili ko na hindi kami kailangan like, mag magkalat. Talagang stick lang ako sa system na lang. Uh, Nikki, I want to ask you about that game one in particular because uh, the way that it didn't go your way, 20-point comeback to win in overtime for UP, what was it like in the locker room after and what was the mindset going into that crucial game too? Um, it was definitely tough. Um going into locker room after, especially when we had the, the twice to beat advantage, but it didn't uh, unmotivate or demotivate any of our teammates. It made us definitely step up the next few days and work hard in practice to make sure that we came out with a win um, for game two. Coach Hides, we wanted to ask, speaking of uh, twice to beat advantage, is that something that you really went for during the elimination round to have that advantage in this particular situation? Um, what's our mindset after the first round when we lost to NU and UP? I told the ladies that we need to improve our second round performance for or for us to have that twice to beat advantage, and that's what we did. And that's uh, I think was a great advantage for us uh, against UP in the final four. Tantoy, uh, on a personal basis, because. Major bounce back season, moto, especially with the injury last time around. Now that you're in the finals, how much grateful? Sa, well, one, the process of rehabilitation, mo, and coming back, uh, looking healthy, and looking good, going into the finals para sa UST. Ah, uh, yun na po parang so, be, parang grateful talaga ako na nakabalik ako ngayon. And dito na po kami uh, ng team ko dito sa finals. Uh, yun na parang. Ang tagal kong hinangal ko na makabalik sa finals since 2019, yung class namin, nakalaban yung end sa finals. Uh, ngayon po, parang very happy kami na andito na ulit kami. Alright, I wanted to ask Nikki. Nikki, how is it like being with this new team and what's the significance of being guided by your seniors all throughout the series so far? Um, it's very fun. Um, I think that they're very welcoming and uh, we got to practice a little bit together last year before we became a solid team this year. So uh, it really helps that, you know, everybody works really hard every day in practice and they're always giving their 100%. So it makes the games a lot easier in terms of uh, making practice harder. So yeah, it's good experience. Coach Heidi, yung confidence ng UST ngayon, it feels like it's on a, at an all-time high here because it feels like you're peaking at the right time and the right time is obviously coming into the finals. How confident are you in terms of, I guess, looking at this as a potential upset of NU? Um, of course, NU is still the defending, seven-time defending champion. No? Uh, we're still the underdog. So for tomorrow, I just told the ladies that we have to do our best and play as a team. And uh, hopefully, we can have an upset tomorrow. 
Alright, how about ikaw, Tantoy? Um, I know this is gonna be a different uh, uh, situation already kasi bago na, championship na to, bagong panibagong series. Meron din bang pagbabago in terms of preparation for you individually and the team as well? Uh, parang wala naman po, parang ganyan pa rin ginagawa namin in terms po na preparation ngayon nga po, papasok ko rin ng finals. Parang yun nga, mas siguro, mas 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 mataas lang pang pianista namin kung pair last week ngayon kasi nga maraming like may Ken Pastrana and then come back po rin talaga ngayon. Yeah, you know, you can go through your entire roster. Grabe yung mga pangalan sa team. Uh, especially, of course, uh, when you have that type of group, it will take something special to take down. Uh, and you are perennial championship contenders and girls. Uh, we wish you all the best. Good luck. Good and uh, hopefully, we get to talk to you again really soon. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much for coming on. Thank you. Thank you. How much do we love Pinoy sports? With all our heart, all the time. Download Pilipinas Live now.